Hey guys, and welcome to Mika Reaction Reviews. We're reacting to, to things on the internet. And today we want to talk about Miss, Mrs. Candace Owens, seemingly either left. I think the headlines is that she left the Daily Wire. Speculation is that it was a mutual agreement, a mutual breakup of sorts. And everyone has their reasons why they think this happened. I think again, the running headline is Candace Owens didn't place nice with a certain community, therefore she got booted from the Daily Wire. There was a video going around of Daily uh, Candace Owens, I guess, grilling this rabbi and she called his daughter a hag and apparently hag is a anti-semitic slur from like a hundred of years ago I don't know but I have my viewpoint I know everyone's gonna take their sides because we live in a tribalistic society today and everyone's gonna take their sides and stick to it but I think it's somewhere in the middle it's nuanced in my opinion and more than a few things can be right at the same time I saw this coming a million miles away. I knew Candace Owens was not gonna be staying at the Daily Wire at least a year or so ago, and I have a few different reasons. First of all, if you're not a fangirl or a fanboy of Candace Owens, you can see that she has a lot of great things to say. She is a great part of the political conversations ecosystem. I'm glad Candace Owens exists. It doesn't mean Candace Owens doesn't have her issues. I started following Candace Owens years ago, at least like six, eight years ago, like when Candace Owens first popped off. I was watching Candace Owens, Red Pill Black, little conservative skit, one of her first videos she's ever put out on YouTube. I was one of her first fans. I was following Candace Owens on Twitter when she only had a few hundred followers. I was following Candace Owens before she had an infamous debate with Miss Blair White on the Dave Rubin show, which is how Candace Owens really popped off from being on Dave Rubin. Because if you are an old school head like me and has been following the political commentary when was anti-SJW and all that good stuff, uh, you know that Dave Rubin used to be the Joe Rogan of the political talking head space on YouTube. If you wanted to pop off, if you wanted to go viral, if you wanted to grow your platform, you got on Dave Rubin, right? I was there. I was right there at the beginning. So I'm not a hater of Candace Owens whatsoever. I supported her. However, throughout the years, she has done things and said things that maybe just side eye. And that doesn't mean people you listen to needs to be perfect and unproblematic in every single way but I do care about the ick factor or the ick level someone gives me when I listen to them speak and I do think Candace Owens can be a mean girl and I don't think that's just her her persona as the political attack dog to go ever after every adversary that comes for, for the political right or the political right talking heads of YouTube. She's had problems with multiple people throughout her, the, the years and throughout her career and it's not like her career is that damn fucking long. It's been like 8-10 years and she's fallen out with so many people. At some point you can't keep saying it's everybody else and it's not Candace Owens. It's everyone else and Candace Owens is just like the perfect angel and she's just rocking the boat and she just wants to play like she just won't play ball and that's the reason why she's having all these problems with people I don't think that's true I think Candace Owens is a mean girl in real life but that's just my opinion and that's just my speculation I don't think you have to be nice for people to listen to you I don't think that if you're speaking facts the truth to power and if you have something to say I don't think you have to be a nice person well to a certain degree I don't want you to be like and offing people and shit like that but I don't think I think you can be a bitch and still people want to listen to you but that's still just my opinion I have a feeling that I feel in my gut that Candace Owens is probably not the easiest person to work with throughout the years it's been Steven Crowder it's been Dave Rubin Dave Rubin was rooting for Candace Owens from the jump and she had a falling out with Dave Rubin. Multiple politicians, multiple political talking heads that she goes after. And the problem I've always had with Candace Owens, which makes me think she's a mean girl, is when she's trying to go after you, she doesn't debate your ideas. She doesn't come after your ideas and debate that on a factual level. She hits below the belt, she becomes super, you know, secret detective and dig in your life, dig in your past, try to find all your problematic behaviors to try to taint your character, to try to destroy your character instead of debating the ideas that you confronted her with. It happened with Steven Crowder, it's happened with multiple people, and this is why people champion Candace Owens in the first place, because she was the political rights attack dog. But she didn't attack usually with facts. She attacked with 
personal attacks and below the belt attacks and if you want to be in that space like the red pill space where they just drag people and demoralize people that's fine um, or if you just want to be a political commentator, that's fine. But if you're kind of present yourself in a professional manner of like, I am someone to listen to, I think you got to pick which one you want. You want to be a hit below the belt, drag out, punch out, knock out commentator on YouTube, or do you want to present yourself like a professional person who's here to present the facts to you? I think you have to pick or choose, and I feel like Kenneth Owens always kind of flopped in the middle, and I think that's why she's making her rounds on the Red Pill space, the Red Pill podcast now, because those are the spaces where you kind of can be nasty, those are the spaces where you can kind of be personal, hit below the bell, and try to just taint someone's character instead of just stating facts and sticking to the facts unemotionally, unapologetically. I think that part of Candace Owens is what makes her a mean girl and it probably was makes her hard to work with. However, the moment I saw the writing on the wall that Candace Owens was not going to stick at the Daily Wire was her support, her undying her her undying support for Andrew Tate. Like Candace Owens has gone above and unnecessarily beyond supporting someone who could possibly be guilty of sex trafficking. And if he wasn't even guilty of sex trafficking, he has said out of his mouth time and time again how proud he was of scamming lonely old men out of their life savings. And Candace Owens is supposed to be like pro men and MRA and all that stuff, but you're like, caping for someone who's laughed and giggled at the fact that he was scamming men you know even if you don't believe that the lover boy method is really sex trafficking because a lot of people just be like i don't believe that sex trafficking it is still supporting someone again out of his own mouth talked about like being with a 15 year old girl in his 30s like telling women he will marry them and then fall in love with them if he just flies out and put him on um put him on only fans andrew tate has never apologized for those things like he might have said things like yeah i was young and i said things to you know go viral he's never sincerely apologized he's never sincerely recognized even the things that is not illegal he's never said sorry about those things admitting to tax fraud he's never apologized for those things so to come out as if he's some change reformed man how can you change how can you reform if you never acknowledge the things you're changing and reforming from and it's no secret a lot of people think of the reasons why Candace Owens caped for Andrew Tate because Candace Owens husband is friends and close to Andrew Tate I don't really like hang out with people like that like people like Andrew Tate again if you take away the illegal stuff I don't hang out with people like that. And if people hang out with people like that, there's something about you. Birds of a feather flock together. So it just, ee, it just makes me feel a little bit icky. But everyone on Daily Wire completely distanced themselves from the red pill and from Andrew Tate. And Candace Owens was the only one sticking by him. And I thought to myself when I saw that, if Andrew Tate comes out guilty of sex trafficking, and Candace Owens is an employee of the Daily Wire, that makes the entire company look bad. You don't think that the mainstream legacy media is not going to run with that? I mean, again, if Andrew Tate comes out of guilty of sex trafficking, they're going to drag Candace Owens to filth and never let her live this down. They will bring it up. Anytime she goes to the Congress or Senate to speak, they will bring this up that you were best friends and protecting a sex trafficker. You don't think that they're never going to let Daily Wire, a conservative media platform, live it down if an employee of the Daily Wire was a person protecting, 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 and standing up and spreading misinformation, by the way. Candace Owen has spread so much misinformation from the Andrew Tate a whole, like, uh, a trial, and all the charges he's been charging with. She's literally just, like, voluntarily spreading information, but basically being a talking piece for Andrew Tate. Just take, taking what he says and just putting it on her Twitter, like, that is not a critical thinker. That is not an independent person who thinks for themselves. That is just a puppet. It's like, Andrew Tate said this, so I'm going to repost this on my Twitter. I'm sorry. Like, that's weird. <laughs> I knew then that Kenneth Owens was not going to be staying at the Daily Wire. Again, the headline is, is that she left. I think it was a mutual agreement. But there's a lot of other little things that I'm not about to scour and Candace Owens' freaking YouTube channel to find all the points and all the examples that I have. But throughout the year, even before the Andrew Tate thing, there's things that Candace Owens has said and done that us, independent of Daily Wire, makes me side-eye her and be like, what are you talking about? Kind of like a Matt Wash, where like he says really good things and he says things that you're like, 
What? It makes me question your IQ level. Like, mm, I'm not saying you have to be right about everything, but to be standing firm on something that's so weird sometimes, her and Matt Walsh, I'm just like, that's weird. There's things she said that's completely against the ecosystem of the Daily Wire. So I always felt like they were kind of going against each other a little bit when it came to policies, ideologies, perspective, perceptions. And I'm not saying that every Daily Wire employee needs to be like a monolith, but I mean, it just felt a little like it, it was a mismatch in my opinion. Daily Wire was happy to use Candace Owens as an attack dog when it came to Steven Crowder. But I think that type of behavior backfires. It's kind of like when you have a best friend who talks shit about everyone else, and yeah, it's fun at the time. It's like, ooh, juicy gossip, kiki, ha ha. But you realize, like, if they're doing that to you, if they're doing that to their friends to you, then they're going to do it to you. So you have to side eye those people that so freely talk shit about their friends and people in their lives. I feel like that's the same thing with Candace Owens. It's like, yeah, we champion the attack dog when she's attacking the people that we want, but I think that behavior very much backfires on the people that's supporting that type of behavior. And I said this in somebody's comment section and it called me a hater. And again, I'm not a hater. Even though I side eye Candace Owens a lot of the time now, I still support a lot of things she says and I still am happy she's a part of the conversation. However, I'm just waiting for the exposed video to come out of Candace Owens because that shit always comes back around. You cannot spend years and years and years digging into people's personal lives, trying to destroy their character, trying to destroy their careers, hitting below the belt, and you don't think that karma will ever come back around to you? Of course it is. Look at almost every exposed channel on YouTube. They always, in return, get exposed. It's just karma. It's a, it, like No one's gonna sit by and watch you constantly drag everybody else's personal life and then leave you untouched. That's not gonna happen, ever. Again, do I think Candace Owens got let go because she was talking about the group of people that you cannot talk about? I think that's partially it. I also think Candace Owens was very ill-informed about a lot of the, the Middle East stuff, uh, Israel's, the state of Israel, the policies of Israel, the culture of Israel. I think she was very misinformed about it. I think she spread information, misinformation about it. And another thing, reason why I side eye Candace Owens, she is not someone who will ever, ever, ever admit that she was wrong. She might flippantly say like, well, maybe I'm wrong and then she will continue but she will never put as much heart and as much emphasis and make a full video sitting down in detail detailing how she was wrong and apologizing for it that is not Candace Owens and that's not something Candace Owens will ever do and I don't trust people who won't ever apologize or ever admit when they're wrong and instead of just doubling down it's the same thing with Andrew Tate when people point out to Candace Owens like Candace Owens you're actually wrong about this this is what he's charged with she never apologizes she never says okay Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Never, ever. So yeah, it's probably that she talked about or she seemed, she talked about the group that can't be talked about, but I also think it's because Candace Owens is misinformed and I think she was spreading misinformation and she was never ever going to ever apologize for it or correct her mistakes and she was just gonna keep doubling down. And again, I think as a business, I think that's like makes you a, a liability and I'm going to let you go. Candace Owens will be fine on her own. I, like I said, there are so many like hardcore Candace Owens fangirl, fanboys. Candace Owens can literally burn down a children's hospital and you'll still have fans like, no, yo, mm, we to, to Candace Owens. I don't, I don't know what that part I just did was, but you know what I mean? Like you have these cult followers who follow these personalities that they cannot do no wrong. Like Andrew Tate, where the guy admitted with his own fucking mouth multiple times front of a fucking running cam camera what he's done and you still have his fanboys like no 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 even though he's like literally said I don't care about men because I scam them you still have fanboys so people are weird people don't know how to critically think for themselves people for some reason love being cult cult members and stands and just blind followers and sheep of people i don't know why i don't get that personality trait but some people just really really love it people some people just like can't live unless they have someone some sort of form of messiah to worship besides actually god anyway this video is way longer than i wanted it to be unfortunately <laughs> But I'm gonna go guys. Let me know what you guys think of this whole letting Candace Owens go um, and what you think the reasons are 
that she got, I, don't know, I keep saying letting go, the reasons why she left the Daily Wire in the comments section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All that really does help with the algorithm, guys. If you'd like to donate my PayPal, my Cash App link is in the description down below. You can super thanks. If you super thanks with a comment, I'll read it in the next video. And you guys have an amazing, beautiful day. Bye!